Yes. All right. How are you today? Great. I'm great. Yeah. Happy start of the week. Monday. Today is Monday. And this is our last week together. We are having, we're working on the grammar and the structure. Uh, let's see. If, let's wait for the other ladies. Mm -hmm. This is the last. The well, last week. We finished on the 24, right? What day do you have? No, 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 no. Uh, it sounds something strange. I, I think that the next week is, is going to be the, the last one. Uh, well, I was told four weeks, right? It's four weeks or five. Mm -hmm. four. So we Yes, we start on the first. Check your mm -hmm. calendar. Uh, we are supposed to finish on the 25th. According to the calendar. I don't know if I am wrong or not. You see from Monday to Thursday is one week. From the 8th to 11th is two weeks. From the 15th to the 18th is third week. And this is the fourth yes, week. Yes, yes. This... Right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we cover a Monday. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, remember Monday 15, we have classes on right. Friday. Yes, unless you want extra classes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One more extra week. We have uh, mm -hmm. the last week, I mean, the 29, we have a holiday break, Semana Santa. It's a holy week. So, we don't have classes at all in any school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on Friday and Tuesday also, no? Uh, Friday? No, it's we start on Monday, the 29th. Monday. Yeah, I mean, we the schools, they still have classes on Saturday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Saturday. Okay. So. Uh, the, the test. It's oh, option okay. about. Give me one second. I think it's your sound or my sound is not working. Okay, can you hear me? Better? Yeah. All right. I can hear you. Well, okay, because you were like students having like echo, 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 and you were you were like floating on the space. <laughs> well, I mean the sound, the sound was like Mayra, 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 <laughs> like an astronaut <laughs> flying. Astronaut. <laughs> no. Um... Uh, all right. Um, no, it's okay. Uh, Diana, Diana is here. Welcome, Diana. Is Diana the Wells, the princess? <laughs> All right, I prepared something uh, for this class. Well, I prepared just five exercises, five skills. So I hope it happened on no time. Can you see my um, the slides now? Yes, I can yes? see. All right, the Longman preparation course or the TOEFL test. Mm -hmm. So let's, I hope it works. That we saw last time, the syllabus. And we did the diagnostic pre-test. We saw the examples, and this is skill number one. Did we see in skill number one or not? Don't remember. Just the beginning, right? <clears throat> no, we didn't. We didn't? Okay, just okay. So we did the we didn't just we did the um, ah pre past. Uh -huh. pre uh, Diana, are you there, Diana? Uh, 
I don't know if Diana is here or not. Yes, she's hello. here. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Mr. Buena is here. All right, all right. Um, so on the, the pretest in the structure, grammar structure, you were not that bad. So, so. I hope you get better uh, checking the skills, right? I mean, it's easier to take mistakes or errors on the on sentences when you, you know you have a good grammar, right? A good grammar knowledge. Mm -hmm. But you know, um, English grammar is like a lot. Like details of everything. So let's start with sentence with skill number one. That's the easiest one. Why? Because <clears throat> because you need to know that we have in a sentence you need to have a subject and a verb mm -hmm. if it's not it's not correct mm -hmm. that's what it, what it means at the beginning pay attention to that details subject and verb in all the sentences when something is missing uh, for example, I have we have the example. This one was backed up for for miles on the freeway. You have um, three options here: mm -hmm. A, B, C, and D. And this is easy. Remember, the first five skills are the easiest one. The value of the, the, the first points are the same than the last one. So remember what I told you, try to do the easy ones, like the first ones. Well, all of them, you try to do all of them, not just the easy ones. But as soon as, you know, like from one to five are the easiest, and then from six to, to 10 and so on. Okay, let's in the example number one, um, what would you choose, A, B, C, or D? Pass. C. C. Why C? Because <clears throat> we need the subject. The example one, it's me for A and B. It doesn't make sense in yes. the in the in the sentence. And the number in the letter D, cars, it's plural. Plural. And we right. have was. Was, well, yes. Traffic. So that's, that's, why. that's the same answer you have here. Well, yesterday and in the morning, they are not subjects. Mm. So cars are plural. So you have only traffic. Traffic was traffic. back up for miles on the freeway. But sometimes yesterday in the morning, Mm, tends to be a subject sometimes in, they depending depending some, on the sentence yes yesterday was an excellent sometimes. day for me yes uh, like yesterday yes. was an excellent day for me so yesterday is a subject right mm, yeah depends on the yeah the, depends uh-huh okay but you can say yesterday was back up for miles on the freeway mm, those, like what you said they don't make sense <coughs> no <laughs> Um, example number two, Diana, are you there, Diana? Yes. Yes, teacher. What would you say in example Before number two? Those. Engineers for work on the new space program. Letter. letter A. Letter A. Necessary. A. Necessary. Engineer is necessary for work. <clears throat> the, where do you see the verb? Diana. Yes. What is the verb? Necessary. Necessary is not a verb. Engineers. Uh huh. They letter need a B. Verb. Letter B. Yes. Engineers are yes. needed. Remember, yes. verb and subject. You have you have the subject, but you need a verb. 
So those are engineers are needed for work on the new space program. Easy, right? So just a sentence has to has to make sense. I mean, your level of English is much better than that. So you know how to make a sentence with a subject, a verb, a moral, and a complement. Um, example number three, the boy going to the movies with a friend. So you need to eliminate fast. You have to be quick, A, B, C, D. Mm -hmm. D. D minus is D. What do you think, um, Diana? S letter D. D. Yes, is D. The boy will be going to the movies with a friend, and you have a little explanation here. Why is D? Right. So you have the reasons. Going will be going. Answers A and B are incorrect because the sentence already has a subject. That's boy. So you're gonna say he, and you're gonna say boy. That's a common mistake in English to use two subjects. And does not need an, the extra subject, <clears throat> he. Answer C is incorrect because relaxing is an extra verb. So you have going, right? So will be the best choice. We'll be together with going. Vanessa is here. Welcome, Vanessa. Hi. Hello, hello. Hello. All right. Here in the subjects and verbs, remember, a sentence in English must have at least one subject and one verb. That's very, very important in a sentence. All right, we have the first exercise. In the first exercise, you have to underline the subjects and the verbs twice, like this one. Ah, and you have to put E or C, that's correct or incorrect. Like the first one, number one, last week when fishing for trout of the nearby mountain lake, so the verb is when, right? Past tense. And you need a subject. A subject. So you need it here. I last week I went, I went fishing, so it's incorrect. In English it's very confusing because some of some people teach say that I went fishing for a travel at the nearby mountain lake last week. So the time expression should be at the end, but it's okay. I mean, for me, the correct way is to say last week, it should be at the end. At the end of the sentence. Right, the time expression. C, schedule of the day's events, events can be obtained, can be obtained at the front desk. You see, this is correct or incorrect? Correct. Yes, Number correct. Two, correct. We yes. have a subject and the verb. The verb, yes. All right, let's do it. Number three, analyze the sentence. I will be asking you one by one and compare. Compare the answers of your, your, your partner, your classmate with yours. 
Uh, let's start with Mayra. Mayra was the first one to get connected. Then was Diana and then was Vanessa. The, Mayra, what do you have for <laughs> number three? I have um, number three incorrect. A job on the day shift or the night shift at the plane available. What are you missing there? It's missing the verb. It's missing the verb, right. What do you think the verb could be? I don't know. <laughs> you need to guess the verb, a job on the day shift, uh -huh. or the night shift e... at the plan E. <laughs> <laughs> it's going I, to be available. It's available or it's available. It's available. It's, yes. it's available. Yes. So you need yes. the uh, bear, the bear uh -huh. here, right? And the subject. What is the subject? A job. Uh, job, a job. Yes. Okay, a number four. Hold on, please, just one. You can take screenshots if you want. That's why I did it this way. Okay. Number four, uh, Diana. Teacher, hold on, please. Uh, I'm going to go back quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay. <laughs> Do not move. <laughs> Do not breathe. <laughs> Diana, the new computer program has provided a variety of helpful applications. Incorrect. Yes, why? Uh, the new computer program has provided Providers. Uh, yes. The new computer program has provides provides, has provides a variety has, of helpful application. What is the mistake? Has provides uh, has provides has provides yes the has and provides uh -huh. they are two verbs right sí. Provides. You can use one or the other, but not both. Unless you are talking about present perfect, has provided, right? Yes. But you can say the new computer program has a variety of helpful applications. That's one verb. The other one, the new computer program provides a variety of helpful, helpful applications. So you have two verbs here. So two verbs here. Pay attention to those little mistakes. Uh, Vanessa. Mm, number five is correct. Number five is correct. Do you agree, ladies? Yes. The box can be opened only with a special screwdriver. Yes, we have the subject, right? Mm -hmm. um, and we have the verb can be opened. <clears throat> so we say subject is one line and double line for verbs. Remember when you when we are talking when you're talking about verbs, it could be a model, an auxiliary, right? 
together. So this might be on the, on the real exam. Number six, Mayra. Uh, incorrect. Um, mm. It's incorrect. We have two subjects, the assigned text and it. So we can eliminate it. The assigned text. Mm -hmm. And you have it. Yes. The assigned test for history class contains more than 20 chapters. You don't need it. Yes, it is incorrect. Okie dokie, Diana, number seven. Is incorrect. Is incorrect. Why? Yes. Why? Mm, the paper in the west west basket should be emptied. Mm -hmm. Emptied. Be emptied. Um, empty is also a verb, and it's not just the the the. Mm -hmm. The adjective, this one, that's an adjective. Uh -huh. yeah. Empty. Do you agree, ladies? Is incorrect. I think it's correct. Empty. Uh, Diana, what do you think? It's, it's correct. The papers in the waste basket should be emptied into a trash can outside. Remember, can trash can is one word. Uh, We're not using this uh, one auxiliary. Empty is also a verb. Be empty. Or get empty. empty. Yes. It's mm -hmm. also a verb. So the is correct. So okay. you see the verb, um, Vanessa? The verb is papers right mm -hmm. or the papers in the, the paper. paper. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. should be just empty double line okay um, next one can see it me olvido. Vanessa. Vanessa. Yes. The parties before down on a boat in the middle of the harbor. Number eight. Mm. The departure before down on a boat in the middle of the harbor. Is correct. The poor is subject, no? Is correct, you said, or incorrect? Incorrect, I'm sorry. No, no correct. Correct or incorrect? Mm. Number it's eight. Correct. Incorrect? Incorrect? No, correct. <laughs> what do you think, ladies, Maina and Diana? I think this is correct. I believe this correct. Correct, Mayra? Correct. <laughs> yeah. um, I have a doubt with the pit departure. Mm -hmm. Down is a, um, it's a very, it's a, it's a, ah. Yeah, it's a bird, but the picture, I don't know if, if it. No, this... down is, it's, it's not, you don't have any verb here. The picture is subject, no? Ah, and so it's missing the verb. It's missing a verb, yes. Mm -hmm. The picture is a down, verb. Down, on, it's a preposition. No, down is a noun. Down is amanecer. Down, down uh -huh. is amanecer. Ah, Antes de que salga el sol. Amanecer. Like uh -huh. a down and down. 
El Crepúsculo. Confused. Yeah, so it's, this one is correct. Isn't correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's correct. So it's incorrect. Why? It's because incorrect. you need, yes, you need a, a verb. Uh, you need a uh, verb. You don't have a verb there. No. Departure is a schedule. So you need here. The departure is scheduled before down on a boat in the middle of the harbor. Because you don't see any verb here. Or you can see departures, the plural are before down, etc. Well, you know the difference. Uh, number nine, Diana, I mean, Mayra. Yeah, incorrect. Yesterday I found an interesting article on pollution. Incorrect, it's missing the, the subject. Yesterday yes. I found an interesting article on a pollution. Yes, on pollution. You, are, you are missing the verb. The verb or the subject? I mean, the, the subject is uh, the. Yes, missing. You're missing the subject. Mm -hmm. Yes, I found an interesting article on pollution. Number 10, Diana. It's correct, teacher. <laughs> it's correct. The new machine is processes 50% more than the previous no, no. machine. It's incorrect. It's incorrect. Why? For verb? You have two verbs. You have is and you have processes. Mm -hmm. So you can use either one, right? The new machine is 50% more, blah, 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 or the new machine processes 50%, either one. But you cannot use two verbs. Yes, easy. Remember, it's just to as all the skills is just to focus on all of them on the on the <clears throat> the sentence. Some is just little little uh, details that you don't notice right away. Okay, give me just one second. I'm trying to work here. No, so that was skill number one. We continue with, these are short. The exercises are short now, because we have many. Uh, <clears throat> skill number two, be careful of objects of prepositions. Those objects are noun or a pronoun that can answer a prepositions, such as in, at, of, to, by, behind, on, and so on, to form a prepositional phrase. Like after his exams, Tom will take a trip. This sentence contains two objects of preposition. Mm. Exams is the object of the preposition after 
and both is the object of the preposition. It's a little bit confusing when you hear like prepositions, object, subject, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so try to focus on like in the example, that's the best way to learn, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. So you have the first uh, example here. Oops. Let's read it. This is example number one with his friend from the movie theater. Letter B. Letter B. Diana, what do you think? No está. Ah, Diana is not here. <laughs> mm, Vanessa? B. B, yes, letter B, yes. Well, you have the answer here. Mm -hmm. With his friend, he found the movie theater. You see? Friend is the object of wit, the preposition wit. Mm -hmm. Yes, you should mm -hmm. notice the verb found, and you also notice that there is no subject. Do not think that friend is the subject. With his friend, friend is the object of the preposition. Friend, with. And one noun cannot be both a subject and an object at the same time. So B is the best answer. Answer A and C and D are not correct because they cannot be subjects. Then you have the, the chart here. A preposition is followed by a noun or pronoun. <clears throat> you know, noun or pronoun. Pronoun, you know the difference, right? Yes. That is called <laughs> an object of the preposition. If a word is an object of a preposition, it is not a subject. Okay, so we have exercise number two. <clears throat> Each of the following sentences contains one or more prepositional phrases. Underline, underline the subjects once and the verbs twice, like the one before. Uh, circle the prepositional phrases that come before the verb. Oops, hold on. Then indicate if the sentences are correct or incorrect. For example, number one, the interviews by radio broadcaster were carried light by the station. So this one is correct, right? Mm -hmm. The interview mm -hmm. is the subject. Mm -hmm. Once and the verbs twice were carry. Circle the prepositional phrases that come before the verb, like this one. Number one, in the last possible moment before the cuff, both are sick, right? Mm -hmm. 
those are prepositional phrases that come before the verb. You have the verb here, took. He sit in the airplane. But is incorrect. What do you need? The subject. You need a subject, right? Yes. What do you think could be the subject? Add a subject here. Maybe a pronoun. He, you can use a he, pronoun or a noun. Because we have his, his maybe a, a, a noun. Guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Could yeah. be Miguel took his seat in the airplane or he mm -hmm. took his seat in the airplane, right? Either yes. one. Easy peasy. Let's see. Number three, Mayra. <laughs> you are the first one. Um, correct. We have a hood flowers shop. It's a preposition uh, subject, preposition subject, subject preposition. Um, flowers in quantities, quantities is a subject. And the bear can be delivered. For free. So you said it's correct or incorrect? Correct. Yes. Correct. Number four, Diana, because I mean Vanessa, because Diana is not here. The progressive reading methods at this school are giving credit for improved test course. Mm -hmm. Think it's correct or incorrect? Vanessa. Estoy hablando como pendejo. What? Sorry, teacher. <laughs> the progressive is... <laughs> is the subject. I'm ready. Is verb. And method in this school is um, object. Um, for me, is correct. The progressive reading methods at this school are giving credit for improved test score. You said you said you said this correct. Yes. No. All right. Yes, it's correct. Mayra, number five. Uh, number five. For the last three years, I think incorrect. Incorrect. Okay, why? Yeah. We have object. Why? Because we have two objects for the last three years at various hospitals in the country has been practicing medicine. It's missing the subject. Maybe she, maybe or a noun. He, or a noun. Mm -hmm. But it's incorrect. Yeah. Where do you think should go the, the, the subject? Before the verb or after the verb? Before. Before. Let's say, um, 
a doctor, right? Because it's but third in this is third person. It's case has. we have two objects for the last. For the last three years at various hospitals in the country, we can say here, the doctor has been practicing medicine. Uh -huh. This is extra information. For the last three years of a various hospital in the country, we could, not, we could only say the doctor has been practicing medicine. That's it. That's it. Right. <clears throat> so it's extra extra information like those. Um... Sorry. Hold on, please. Yes. All right, so we said number five was incorrect. Why? Because we are missing the subject. And the subject would, would be a pronoun or a noun. Should be third person because we have has, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So it should be here. Here. Has been, right? Mm -hmm. The verb that well, have been practicing, that's present perfect continuous. So we're missing the subject. All right, number six, Vanessa. Oh, Diana is here. Uh, Diana, mm -hmm. you're back. Sure. Yes. Diana, can you do number six, please? In the past, a career in politics was not considered acceptable in some circles. In the past, a career in politics was not considered certain in some circles. In the past? Okay, first tell me if it's correct or incorrect. Check the sentence. In the past, a career in politics was not considered acceptable in some circles. Correct, correct. It is correct. Do you think so? It's correct. Uh, Vanessa, what do you think? Mm, yes, it's correct. Mayra? Yes, it's correct. It is correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. so we have um, the subject, a career, mm -hmm. politics. Sorry. We have a verb. Mm -hmm. Was not considered. Considered. Was not. Uh, prepositional paraphrases. Was that the some circle? So this is expression that the time expression in the past. In the past. Number seven. 
Um, Vanessa? Uh -huh. mm. Number seven, correct or incorrect? Check the sentence. Okay. Shopping in the downtown area of the city has improved a lot of in recent years. Correct. Double check the sentence, please. Okay. It's incorrect. Why? Why? Um, what do you see there? Because the prepositional phrases uh, are after the verb. What is the propositional phrase here? Mm. I have two. <laughs> um, in the downtown area. In the downtown area. Mm -hmm. But there's something that you can notice right away in the sentence. Shopping in the downtown area of the city, it has improved a lot of in recent years. If you pay attention to the sentence, mm -hmm. you see there's a mistake. You need to check the mistake here. Mm -hmm. Analyze the sentence. The verb is has improved um the verb is correct has improved uh, yes um the subject are um, the city it and um, in the downtown area <laughs> well you Shop have shopping <laughs> shopping is one subject uh -huh. you have it it okay so you have using you are you have two subjects uh -huh. shopping and it Shopping mm -hmm. in the downtown of the city has improved a lot in recent years. Shopping, without this, with the propositional phrase, shopping has improved a lot in recent years, right? So we don't need this extra information. Okay. So you have two subjects here. So this one is incorrect. Mayra? Yes. Number eight. Okay. It's correct. Okay, you see, you can find everything, right? Yeah, it's completed. At the building side, the carpent carpenters with the most experience were given the most intricate work. So, what's the verb? Were given. Were given. Mm -hmm. And the subject? The, the carpenters. Yes, the carpenters. And we have two objects. 
you have you have two objects at right. the buildings and with the most experience yes at the building side and with the most experience correct <laughs> All right, was this here or not? No, so. Uh, Vanessa, Diana, I see you were kind of confused. Yes, I confused in seven. No, but I mean in general. Ah. Some, some of them you have to pay more attention to the other ones. Ones mm -hmm. are easy to detect the mistakes or the errors, right? Right away, you can see, oh, they have two subjects. Or they have uh, two verbs or whatever. Mm -hmm. Some of them take more time than the others. Yes. But I want you to see the rule, what is about, right? Hmm. Objects of preposition. Okay, objects of preposition. But always pay attention on the verbs, on the subject, that's very important, and the order of the sentence. So it's part essential of the grammar in English. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have skill number three. Be careful of appositives, appositives, appositives. If you don't know what the positives are, those are very easy to detect. It's the same way we were talking about when you have essential or non essential information. Is when. Uh, hmm. Yes? Sorry, is when we have extra information about the, about the subject? Yes. No? Something like that? It's very similar, like uh, all those, um, uh, how do you call the clauses? The clauses? Definite clauses? Defined clauses? Clauses? On defined clauses. Like the guy who gave it to me, the guy who sits next in front of me. Well, you see, they are very, very, very common, very similar to those. What is called appositives. A positives can cause confusion in the structure section. That's because an appositive can be mistaken for the subject of a sentence. It's a noun that comes before or after a noun. So you can find it at the beginning, at the middle, or at the end. So there's no rule for that. Mm -hmm. And they say in the meaning it doesn't change. Sally, the best student in the class got an A on the exam. Okay. So if you remember that, um, those closets, on the fine closet, Sally, who is or who was the best student in the class got an, an A on the exam. Remember, we use who? Mm -hmm. So it's the same. In this example, Sally is a subject, right? Mm -hmm. And the best student in the class here is an appositive phrase because of the noun student is extra information. The best students in the class. And because of the commas, comma. Mm -hmm. The sentence says that Sally and the best student in the class are the same person. You see Sally separated by comma. You have the clause here, the opposite, 
the positive and then another comma. So Sally no. is the subject? Yes. And the best student in the class is the it, object or is the... A positive. A positive. Yes. Ah, yeah. And a, a positive, positive phrase. Mm -hmm. Student is the yeah. noun, you know. Mm -hmm. Now did you leave? Note that if you leave out the positive phrase, the sentence still makes sense. Doesn't change. Sally got an A on the exam. You see? Mm -hmm. Sally got an A on the exam. So you don't need this extra information. Okay, okay, you have, we have the, here, example number one. George is attending the lecture. B. B. Why B? Letter D. B. In this example, B. you should recognize from the commas that George is now the subject. No. It's not the subject of the verb of the sentence. George is an appositive. You see? Comma, mm -hmm. comma. Because this sentence still needs a subject, the best answer is D. My friend, comma, George, George. comma, mm -hmm. is attending the lecture. So we don't need the name. My friend is, is attending the lecture, right? Mm -hmm. But we are using George to specify. So it's letter D. Remember these commas, these commas, they are very important. Next sample. Sarah rarely misses her basketball shots. Okay, what do you think, A, B, C, or D? A. Letter A. A. Well, you have the, the, the answer to that is here, right? Why? <laughs> Sarah is an excellent basketball player, so answer A. An excellent basketball player Comma, Sarah really misses her basketball shots. Answer B and C are not correct because they each contain the verb is. Is here. Is here. So you're using misses, right? Third person. And this is really wrong. Her excellent basketball play comma, Sarah really means this, so contains a noun. Okay, okay. Mm, no, hold on. Then you have the chart. Okay. The following chart outlines the key information that you should remember about a positives. And a positive is a noun that comes before or after another noun. And it's generally set off from the noun with commas. 
if a word is an appositive, it is not the subject. The following appositive structures are more possible in English. Tom, subject, a really good mechanic, a positive, comma, you see the commas, is fixing the car, right? Verb, object. Again, a really good mechanic, a positive, is at the beginning. Tom is fixing the car, so it doesn't change. As I told you, it could be in the middle, at the beginning. No se pueden ser de esas dos formas. Right, or at the end, yes. So you need to detect by the commas. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have one more exercise here. The same circle the positive phrases. Now let's try. Uh, I will give you the remote so you can write. You can underline and you can circle. Mm -hmm. Circle the positive phrases, then indicate if the sentences are correct or incorrect. So you need to put here with your mouse. All right, let me try. Mm -mm. I should be able to to do it, but I can. I don't know why. All right, let's do it like that. The son of the previous owner, the new owner is under, undertaking some fairly broad changes in management policy. So this is correct, right? They circle the Teacher, we can do it with the computer. I try to do. Uh, okay, try, try. Can you see? Oh, yes. Okay. okay. Uh, Mayra, I mean, Vanessa? Mm. Uh, Mayra, try. Okay, one moment. Mm -hmm. I. <laughs> Yeah, yes? I, I, yeah, I saw you there. <laughs> I saw your name. What about you, Diana? <laughs> Miss Diana. Hey, Try to write something on the screen. No, no lo encuentro. ¿Dónde le muevo? Um, okay. ¿Estás en tu teléfono o en tu computadora? En la computadora. Let me give you the mouse. This is what I was looking for. Now you have the control, Diana. Try to write something. A mí me aparece un lápiz. Yes. Um, uh -huh. Y dale ahí, dale clic para que puedas este, rayar. No, bueno, aquí ya te pasaste. Ahí, that's number, exercise number three. Lápiz. Sí. All right. So yeah. let's start, let's start. Yes, so you can do it both. Let's start. Um, we said uh, no, number one is correct. Number one, number two is incorrect. Last semester, a friend, comma, graduated cum laude from the, cum laude, cum laude from the university. So that should be wrong. Well, it is wrong.
because you need a name here. Mm -hmm. Last semester, let's say, last semester, Miguel, comma, a friend, comma, graduated cum laude from the university. Number three, Mayra. It's correct. It's correct. Yes. Yes. The subject is Valentine's Day. A <laughs> uh, positive February 14th. And the verb is a special holiday for for sweet hearts. Sweet hearts. Valentine's Day. February 14 is a special holiday for sweethearts. Yes, it's co uh, is it correct, right? Number four, uh, Vanessa. Okay. Mm. You have the control. Every time I ask you, I give you the control, the remote. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, you can write. The verb is. Ay, aquí. Ay, ¿qué hice? Oh, no. At long last, the chief executive officer has decided to step down. Mm. Is correct. At, at long, a long last, a subject, um, a positive, the chief is, except, no, come on. Executive officer, um, Bear has decided. Has decided to step down. To step down. Uh -huh. So, what do you say is correct or incorrect? Correct. You need something here. At long last, it is like finally. Finally, um, after a long time, Mr. Rodriguez, Mr. Rodriguez, comma, the chief executive, executive author, officer has decided to step down. Mm -hmm. So you need, you need something there, subject. Because the chief executive officer, you see, is in commas. Mm -hmm. So if that's the positive, it's extra information. Long last, Mr. Blah, blah, blah has decided to step down. Mm -hmm. So it's incorrect. You need a subject here. Diana, number. Five, please. Is correct. It's correct. Correct. Number five, you said it's correct. Yes. So you have you have all the parts in the sentence. Yeah. Uh, a positive left uh -huh. blur left blur left, blur, left blur towers from mm -hmm. last night. Um, yes. You subject Tony Super. Tony Supper. Tonight, super. Um, That's the subject. Subject, subject, uh huh. Um, uh, verbo, verb, 
Nice. Tonight's supper, nice. let's start from last night. Did not taste any beer tonight and last night. Not taste. Did not taste any beer tonight. Uh-huh. The verb, the verb, did not taste. Did not taste is a past uh -huh. tense of a negative, right? Yes. All right, so that's correct. Yes, correct. Yes, correct. Number, uh, Diana, I mean, Mayra. Number six, uh, correct. The only entrance to the closet, the door was kept locked at all times. It's correct. Mm -hmm. Can you mention, can you separate? Mm -hmm. The only entrance to the closet is the positive. The door is the subject. Was yes. kept. Okay, is the complement. Was the verb. The verb, right? Was kept locked. Locked. Mm -hmm. Yes. Number seven, Vanessa. <laughs> mm. Will not turn on his complement. Um, subject is um, winter. No. Okay. In the cold of winter, a wall heating unit would not turn on. Where do you see the subject there? Hmm. In the cold a of wall winter, heating? a wall heating unit. Heating unit. Is that the subject? Um, no. Sorry. I don't say. <laughs> así, no así de fácil. <laughs> ya me desesperé. <laughs> que dices que no la toalla, la toalla la vamos a tirar en la playa, chica. <laughs> así, ay, no sé, ya me voy. <laughs> No, pues oígame, no. In the cold of winter, a wall heating unit mm. would not turn on. The cold, the cold in the winter. Cold of winter is subject. It's uh, missing the subject. Oh. A wall heating unit. Yeah, and you need to add a, as the subject it? here because it's missing. Uh -huh. In the cold of winter, the electric heater, comma, a wall heating unit would not turn on. A wall heating unit is a positive, right? So uh -huh. you need the subject here. In the cold of winter, the electric heater, comma, and explains a wall heating unit would not turn on. That's incorrect. Yes, because you're missing the subject. Mm -hmm. Number eight, number eight. Uh, Vanessa? No, yeah. Uh, yo. Yes. Uh, Diana. Diana. Yes. That's number eight. Mm, number eight. In 
the new the new tile pattern, yellow flowers and a white background, really brightens up the room. Is incorrect. Why? The new tile pattern, yellow flowers on a white background, really brightens up the room. You have the bird, the new tile pattern, I mean the, the subject. Subjects. Subject yellow flowers. No, I just mentioned what the sub who the subject is. No. Remember, we are working with a positive. The positive is the extra information, right? Yes. yes. The new tile pattern and then comma. Yellow flowers on a white background. It is, it is explaining the neutral pattern. So it's not necessary. The neutral patterns really brighten up the room. So is you, is you, um, is it take this? It's in comma, it's, it's in comma, it's the same meaning. Yes. That's the positive. Mm -hmm. Neutral patterns really brightens up the, the room, right? This information is extra. Mm -hmm. That's the positive. It's always with commas, remember, it could be in the middle, I mean, the middle, in the begin at the beginning, or at the end. So you must be careful when it's extra information. Something that you don't need it, because if you make the sentence without it, it's the same, it makes sense. Like here, the new tile pattern really brightens up the room, but you don't need the compass anymore, right? It's like putting parentheses here. Mm -hmm. In inside, we use sometimes we use parentheses. No, we use parentheses for everything. <laughs> Confusion. <laughs> yeah. So... All right, number nine, Mayra. So Hi. is correct or incorrect eight? Incorrect. Incorrect. Uh, number eight. Uh huh. Yes, yeah, correct. No, it's it was uh. No. Correct. 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 No, no, it was. It, it's correct. Mm -hmm. Use use the way you how you were describing the sentence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's correct. Or just try to pay attention. What is a verb? What is a positive? Mm -hmm. And what is a subject? Uh, positive yellow flower and right. Flag. Yes. Uh -huh. wow. This is the subject. Uh, yes. you, tell. you need to mm -hmm. make. Uh -huh. You need. To, you, you have to tell. You can tell the difference. You can the uh -huh. new. The new little. Right. Uh, Mayra, number nine, please. I believe it's correct, but it's missing a comma. The high power computer comma, the most powerful machine of its type was finally did it for use. We have a verb was, we have extra information, the most powerful machine of its type and the, ob the object, sorry, the subject, the high power computer. Is it right? <laughs> yes, but the only problem, why is incorrect is because of the comma. The, it's missing the comma. The comma, that's why it's incorrect. Mm -hmm. I mean, you read it like this, it's, it's, oh, it's, it's okay, but. What about the comma? Remember, you need two commas. Mm -hmm. One at the beginning and one at the end. Okay. So just because of the comma is incorrect. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Number 10, next, Diana. A long time friend and confident. A long time friend and confident. The security was often invited over for so late. And is incorrect. A long time friend and confident. The psychology was often invited over for Sunday dinner. What do you think? Uh, Correct or incorrect? Remember, the positive could be at the end, the beginning, or in the middle. It doesn't matter. A positive. Uh... A long time friend and confident. A long time friend and confident. Mm -hmm. Comma. Comma. The psychologist. The psychologist. Psychologist mm -hmm. was often in between over for Sunday dinner. Subject. 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 I mean subject. The, the psychologist was often invited over for Sunday dinner. So the sentence is Mayra, correct or incorrect? Correct. Correct. Yes, correct. Cor it's correct. It's right. So so far we have seen three skills. What do you think? Is it hard? Is it easy? So so it's easy. It's easy, right? You just need to pay attention. So, so. <laughs> so, so. To practice more. Yes. <laughs> All right, let me go to the next page. Sometimes this one gets like stuck. I don't know why. Mm. So that's skill number four. Skill number four is about be careful of present participles. It's like present continuous, right? Something that is, uh, of course, the name is continuously, that is happening at the moment. Okay, how do you see? La, na, 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 na. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Desde que pase de la música. <laughs> la, na, 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 na. Va contento, hombre. Va feliz. <laughs> Be careful of present participles. A present participle is the ing form of the verb. Talking, playing, eating, singing, dancing, etc. In the structure section, can cause uh, can cause confusion because it can be either a part of the verb or an adjective. Uh, that's what we are going to learn. It could be part of the adjective or a verb. It is part of the verb when it's preceded by some form of the verb be, like the mom is talking to his friend. Right, that is easy to understand. Mm -hmm. Yes. In this sentence, talking is part of the verb because it's accompanied by is, is, mm -hmm. is talking. So it's mm -hmm. a verb, is talking, present continue.
a present participle is an adjective too, when it's not accompanied by some form of the verb be. The man talking, the man talking to his friend has a verb. You see, the man talking to his friend has a verb. In this sentence, talking is an adjective and not part of the verb because it's not right. It's not accompanied by some form of B. So there's no B here. The verb in this sentence is has. Right, talking to his friend is just extra. The, the man has a verb. The man talking to his friend. All right, maybe it's easier. Um, hold on, please. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. All right, let me see if I can do it from here. It's like it gets stuck. Can you see the my page, my screen? Yes. Yes. So we're about to finish. Okay, let's see. Because sometimes working with slides, it's kind of, uh, it gets like frozen. Well, it's 7.29 now. Let's, do, let's try to finish. You have the example, the child, the child playing in the yard is my son. What do you think? A, B, C, or D? Letter A. Letter A. You play A. Why is A teacher? The explanation is here. In this example, if you look at the only, only the first words, the child, it appears the child is a subject and playing is part of the verb. Mm -hmm. Right? If, if you think that playing is part of the verb, you might just answer B. But you have mm -hmm. is here. The child is playing in the year is my son. Pero no. Pero no. B is or answer D was to complete the verb. However, these two. Answers are incorrect because playing is not part of the mm -hmm. verb. The verb here is is. So the best answer is A. The child now playing in the year is my son. You cannot say the child is playing in the year is my son twice. The child he playing. No, you are using two subjects. Okay. The child was playing in the yard is my son. You could say the play, uh, the child who is playing in the yard is my son. Right? Sounds uh, better because you're using who. 
o that. Mm -hmm. But. In this sentence, uh, espérame, hold on. So you have the chart here. A present participle is the ing form of the verb, right? You know that. The present participle can be part of the verb or an adjective. It is part of the verb when it's accompanied by some form of the verb being. It's an adjective that's very important, but it's not accompanied by some form of the verb be. The boy is standing in the corner, right? You have the verb be there, is standing. Okay, let's try to finish it. Do you have time, you wanna do it? Or you, we do it tomorrow? It's 7.33. I have time. And what about you ladies? So we can start tomorrow with skill number four. For me it's okay, teacher. Okay, lo, lo hacemos rapidito, chico, y ya nos vamos a la casa. Bueno, estamos en la casa, ¿verdad? <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> okay, number four, we have the examples. See, the companies offering the lowest prices will have the most customers. It's the same mm -hmm. subject, one line. Circle. Well, if you want to read it, it's fine. Circle the present participle like this. And label them as adjective or verb. You see, adjective. Mm -hmm. Then indicate the sentence are correct or incorrect, like here. And then the verb. The companies offering the lowest prices will have the most customers. So offering in this case is an adjective, it's not the verb because you don't see the, the verb be here, right? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. You have the verb, the main verb is here. Uh, those travelers are completing their trip on Delta should report. To gate three. That's incorrect, why? Who wants to tell me why it's incorrect? For the we have people. two verbs. Completing. Those travelers are completing the trip to Delta. What other verb, Mayra? Report. Should and should report. report. Yes, should, should report. report. Like if I say those travelers who who are completing the trip or who completed who completed their trip on Delta should report to this trip. That's a different kind of sentence. Let's see. Number three, Mayra. Correct. Okay, it's correct. The artisans, yes, mm -hmm. the artisans were demonstrating various handicrafts or at both throughout the fair. It's correct. Yes. So demonstrating there is verb or is adjective, Mayra? Verb. Ver. We have verb. And we have the verb to be where? Yes. Whenever you see the verb be, obviously you said, oh, it's the verb. Mm -hmm. uh, Diana, four. Four. Mm -hmm. It's incorrect. It's incorrect. 
Why? But the fraternities are giving the wildest parties of mostly pledges. Birds are giving. Uh huh. And attract. Yes, attract. Attract the most new pledges. So you have two verbs here. That's why it's incorrect. Number five. Vanessa. Uh, mm. Is incorrect. Double check. Number five, no? Yes, number five, double check. The first thing. A subject. Winning for games is awarded at the championship. <clears throat> the first team winning four games is awarded the championship. You don't see the verb be there. So that's why it's not double verb. Winning is an adjective there. Uh huh, yes. Winning. But is the verb a word? Um, the termination is ing, no? The ending no. is ing, no, it's awarded. Mm -hmm. Four games so. is awarded. The first team. Winning four games is awarded the championship. So is awarded is correct. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Yes, awarded. So it's correct. No, Number it's five. Correct. Uh -huh. yeah, it's, yeah, it's correct. Okay, no, next one, please. Who's next? Me. Yes, Myra. Incorrect. We have two verbs. Was trying to make was often interrupted. The speaker was trying to make his point was often interrupted vociferously. 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 Incorrect. Yes, incorrect. Trying and um, what is it? Interrupted. And was often interrupted. Yes. Uh, number seven. Seven. Diana. Yeah. Verb were rotting. The fruits were rotting. Verb. Rotting. Yes. Yeah. I get it. Uh, the great carrying. The fruits were rotting, rotting because of the monster in the crates carrying them to market. <coughs> so you think it's incorrect or correct? It's correct. Yes, it is correct. So you have verb. We're rotting. We're rotting. So it's ro rotting, it's rotting. What's that? They, okay. The fruits were rotting. They were rotting. No. Como un ejercicio, no? No. Rotting. Mayra, you know that's rot? Rot. Rot. Mm, no, I don't know. Sometimes you guess the meaning because of the context of the sentence. Yeah. The fruits, las frutas estaban pudriendo mm. porque la humedad mm. en los, ah, <laughs> ah. ah, you guess the meaning by the context. Yes, yes, yes. Right, crates, son los 
cajas donde se llevan la, la, la fruta. Uh -huh. Estaban right. húmedas. Cajas. Ajá. Right, crates. Sí, cajas. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Road, pudriéndose. Right es madurándose. Can you spell that? Is O U? Is R U T. Ah, double T. Well, double T when you have I N G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's just three letters R O T. Road. Ah, okay. Road. Road. Like when they say road in heaven, put it in the infierno. <laughs> no, in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Road in the hell. Road in hell. Put it in the infierno. Ah, road in hell. In hell. Ah, ya, ya te la vas a aprender. I'm going to write in my in my in my yeah. Facebook. No, that's very that's very very common. Rotting hell, pudrete. Literal, I mean, rotting hell. Literal, pudrete, exacto. Eh, oye, okay. feo, soy el feo, pero es la, la verdad. Okay. Uh, Thanks, is, thank you. Yes, okay, no problem. Number eight. No sé quién sigue, ya se me olvidó. Sí, es incorrect. Number A is incorrect. Yes. Any students desiring official transcripts should complete the appropriate form. Why is incorrect? Because have two verbs. What are the two verbs? Desiring and should complete. Remember, we just mentioned when you have just the ing and you don't have the d verb, it's mm -hmm. an adjective. Mm -hmm. Any student desiring, desiring of his desiring, the desire, que desear. Mm -hmm. Official transcripts should complete the appropriate form. So there is only one verb, should complete or complete. You know, should mm -hmm. is a modal. So desiring, it's an adjective here. It's not mm -hmm. a verb. So number eight is correct. Correct. Yes. Make sure about that. You don't see the verb be here, right? Mm -hmm. Any student desiring, in this case, desiring is an adjective. So you don't have two verbs. So it's correct. Number nine. Me. Mayra. Incorrect. We have two verbs. We're announcing and received. All right. The advertisements, the advertisements were announcing the half. They sell, receive a lot of attention. You see where, like the Diana, mm -hmm. you see where, I think they're able to be announcing. So this is a verb. Well, this is this is not a verb because you don't have verb be here. So you have double verb here. We're announcing and yes. receive. So it's incorrect. And last one, number 10. Uh, uh, Diana, yes. It's, it's, it's correct. The spices flavoring the meal were quite distinctive. Where the verb is one verb Where flavoring. It, fla yes. The verb flavoring is, is adjective. Yes, adjective. Mm -hmm. And the subject. Yes, correct. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Um, I think we are done for tonight. We have four skills. We will continue tomorrow with skills from five to nine or 10, depending on the time. So you gotta be fast. Thank you. All right, keep practicing. Um, if you want uh, to practice skill number five, I can send it to you right now on the WhatsApp group. Okay. okay. Thank you so much and I'll see you tomorrow at the same time. See you. Thanks. Right. Have Thank you. Nice. Okay. Thank okay. you. You too. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.